What's up, family? It's your boy, your Urban Sports Guru. And uh, I just want to holler at y'all real quick about um, news that came out. I posted about this earlier on Instagram, about this fucking news, do the video for my YouTube people. Um, John Elway was asked in a press conference about Colin Kaepernick, and he just put it out there, no sounds of it. He just said flat out, like, yeah, we offered Colin a contract, and he turned us down. Now, the information came out that basically, they basically was trying to work out a deal where they was trying to trade for Kaepernick before San Fran cut him. San Fran was trying to get something for him instead of just flat out cutting him. Sent him to the Denver Broncos, a Super Bowl ready team, and they just couldn't work out a money issue because he was owed about almost $12 million guaranteed. He wanted to trim that down to like, like uh, seven, eight million dollars. Couldn't work that out. Had meetings at John Elway's crib. Couldn't work that out. And that just, this whole information that came out is just for me is just indicative of what I've been saying from the get go. As much as I support Colin Kaepernick and I ride with Colin Kaepernick because of the reason is why he took this stand and did the protest in the first place. The thing about this whole situation that it just sticks out for me, and I've always said it, and I'll keep on saying it. I don't care what nobody fucking says. Colin Kaepernick did not understand the power of shit he was stepping in. No, he did not. Everybody wants to make a martyr out of this situation now. No, this motherfucker did not. He did not know the pile of shit he was stepping in when he decided to go about this way of protest. When you couldn't make this shit work with the Denver Broncos over a few million dollars because you wanted your whole 11.8 or 12 million dollar guarantee you wanted all your money you wanted all of that because you felt why should I have to there's going to be more offers coming why should I have to take a pay cut that's why he felt there was going to be more offers coming and I get it. Colin Kaepernick deserves a spot in the National Football League. I think he deserves a starting spot in the National Football League. Let alone just having a job as a second or third string. But he did not realize the power shit he stepped in. And I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Everyone make this shit out like, like he knew everybody was going to ostracize him. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. This brother really thought there was going to be a slew of offers for him. He really thought that. For you to turn down a, a situation like Denver that just won a Super Bowl a year or two before that? What's the matter with you? Over a couple million dollars? You're set up. Last time you had a team like that, you went to the Super Bowl. I'm saying that shit again for a fact. The last time Colin Kaepernick had a team like that, he went to the Super Bowl. He had an opportunity to play in a stack. This team with a stacked defense and great, with great receiving calls. I, I think this information and John Elway, a respected guy, a Super Bowl champion as a player, Super Bowl champion as an executive, no one's ever called this man a liar. And I'm not. I'm not going to call him a liar because I don't think he's lying. I don't think he's lying. I think he's just, you think he's giving, the, giving it up the truth, truthfully. And the fact that he also said this is something he said in his deposition. So the fact that this is something he said in his deposition, Colin Kaepernick has a case against the NFL trying to prove collusion. So if he's saying this in his deposition, a respected man, a Super Bowl champion, this does not make his collusion case look very well. Because you have a prominent team, a team that shit, quarterbacks should want to go to. I mean, what position did John Elway play again? Oh yeah, quarterback. What kind of quarterback was he again? Oh yeah, a running quarterback. What kind of quarterback is Colin Kaepernick? Yeah, a running quarterback. So, you had a perfect situation that you turned down over a couple million dollars. You let the pride get in the way or whatever soapbox niggas he got in his ear. Cause I believe that shit also. I believe Colin Kaepernick got some soapbox niggas in his ear. As much as I ride with the brother, he got some soapbox niggas in his head, and they've been leading him the wrong way. He's been getting some fucked up advice, and he's made some fucked up moves. 
I don't give a fuck how anybody takes this shit. I can like the brother and I can respect the brother, but I can also disagree with the fuck certain moves he's made. And I stand behind that shit. He's done, he, he's done some fucked up moves in there. You got all these brothers like, riding with you about you not getting opportunity. And it turns out you had a golden opportunity that you pissed away. I don't, I, I, I love you, Colin. I, 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 love, I, I love love for Colin. But I don't respect that. And that's just my taste. Your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.